So you got yourself an awesome V2 pocket chronograph and you're shooting some of those tiny 177 8.4 grain pellets. But you have issues getting proper readings, so let's fix that. The mass of this 177 pellet is so small compared to the bigger calibers, we have to mount our chronograph in such a way in order for it to read them every single time. So the first thing you want to do is to mount your little chronograph between 5 to 20 centimeters from the muzzle end. 5 centimeters being 2 inches, 20 centimeters being 8 inches from the muzzle end. As our chronograph reads up to a certain distance in front of it, the more we mount it backwards, the more it has a harder time to pick up our projectiles, especially with these smaller calibers like the 177 ones. So stay within the recommended 5 to 20 centimeters from your muzzle end and mount it right there. The closer you can get it to the 5 cm from the muzzle end, the better. So the second reason why your chronograph maybe is not picking up your 177 little pellets is because you have it mounted behind a moderator. Now it speaks for itself that the line of sight of the chronograph has to be unobstructed and perfectly in line with the direction you're shooting at. Maybe you have mounted a large diameter moderator in front of your chronograph which is obstructing the view of the chronograph just a little bit, not allowing it to pick up your 177 pellets. So then, what are some good options to mount your pocket chronograph? Like we have discussed before, maybe with an elastic band and this uh, round tube cradle, you can mount it 5 centimeters from the front of your muzzle. 909. That's position number one, very good position as well. You can also mount it on your shroud, just like this. You can even slide it back and forward looking for that ideal position due to the fact you're not using a large Eight. diameter moderator which can obstruct the view of your chronograph of course. 908. Maybe another location will be on the bottle which I don't really advise, especially not down here. If you do this I would still mount it somewhere on the side like that. If you are running a 500 millimeter barrel like this one right here without a moderator, this is just about 20 centimeters backwards or 8 inches. Uh, that's exactly the location where you have on an FX impact this uh, side mounted Picatinny rail. So with the side mount uh, Picatinny option, you can also mount it to the side of that Picatinny rail still tracking your pellets. Now I can hear you say I'm using a 600 or a 700 millimeter barrel and I really don't want to hang the moderator off my barrel due for some harmonic reasons. There is also an option which calls a chronograph extension mount which can be mounted to one of the side Picatinny rails and have your chronograph way out to the front and correct the position if needed. So I hope this video was uh, helpful for some of you who maybe have encountered this issue getting their 177 pellets to work with the V2 pocket chronograph. If you have any other ideas for instructional videos, please leave them in the comment section down below and I will see what I can do about it. I thank you for watching and I hope to see you back in the next one. Bye.